Hello, hello, it is Jennifer Sinceri, and I am a Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator, and it is Fun Friday, and we are going to play with some stamps, lots of fun goodies to play with tonight. I normally come on at 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, but my schedule has just been pretty crazy. Crazy! I just came, I just went back to work. I'm a school teacher and our school year just started. First day with kiddos was Thursday. I've been back since Monday. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being patient and waiting for me because um, I knew I wasn't going to make six o'clock. So thank you so much for um, joining me tonight. Would you please Give me um, a comment just to let me know that you're here and that you have found me. Um, that way I can interact with you. That always makes it more fun for all of us. I have, let's see, I think I have four cards we're going to make tonight. And one of them is a fun fold that I'm going to show you how to make. Hi, Susan. I'm so glad you're here. Tonight we are playing with the Nature's Harvest Bundle, and actually I'm pulling items from the suite um, to play with tonight, the whole suite. It's gorgeous. I'm grabbing my catalog right now just so I can show you where to find it. <clears throat> and let me grab my unopened pack of paper so I can show you that as well. Okay, so who likes wildflowers? I love wildflowers. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Pam. Thanks for hopping on, guys. Um, happy Friday to all of you. I hope that you guys um, have had a good week and that you get to have some relaxing time right now. Hopefully you are chilling out safe at home, out of the heat. We have had fires in our area, and so the air quality has been super awful. My asthma's been acting up. Let's see, Shelly, you're shopping? You're shopping? Where are you shopping, girl? <laughs> Thank you, Pam, for sharing. I can always count on Pam. To share the video. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Whenever you share my videos um, with your friends, then it helps other people find me. Okay, so in the mini holiday catalog, and by the way, if you don't have one, just shoot me a message. I would love to give you one for free. I just ask that you place an order um, with me during the life of that catalog. Um, you can find the suite that I'm going to be using tonight on page 54 and 55 in the catalog. It's called the Harvest Meadow Suite. We've got a lovely pack of DSP. We've got some lace ribbon, some embellishments, a specialty paper, which is cork, um, an embossing folder, and a stamp and die bundle. Hi, Peggy. Hi, Deanna. I'm so glad you're here, ladies. And then if you turn to the next page, you will see up close images of the stamps and then a couple more samples. There's samples here and then there's a few more samples. And then, hi Linda, in the back, they always highlight the bundles. It's what we call, ugh, I'm tripping over my tongue, a bundle index. So there should be even one more sample. I'm trying to find it. Here it is, this one. So you, there's even one more sample. So you've got quite a few samples in the catalog using this set. Hi, Jeannie. Let's see. Um, I am glad you guys are here. Thank you, thank you for hopping on. Okay. I'm just going to show you this gorgeous paper. For those of you that don't know or haven't seen it, 
Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time just because I want to get to the cards and I'm, I'm later than I normally am and I want to be um, respectful of your time. Okay, so we have a beautiful um, page here and let me, let me look at the colors too. So the colors that coordinate are Bumblebee, Cajun Craze, Crumb Cake, Misty Moonlight, and Soft Succulent. Okay, so this is Misty Moonlight. I wasn't sure if it was Night of Navy or Misty Moonlight. All right, and there's your Bumblebee. <clears throat> this is a lovely page of crumb cake. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Let me make sure I've got all my lights on so that you guys can see as well as possible. Let me turn this. Let me move my light over here. Okay, just getting all, our, all of our... Um, resources turned on for you. I like to be consistent and I like to be on the same time so that you guys can predict uh, and you can count on me. It's just my schedule's been really crazy lately. So thank you for being flexible. Beautiful Calypso Coral. And then this is the Soft Succulent. I love that page. Another Bumblebee. It's got Looks like um, cone flowers on it. Then we have wheat. That's beautiful. Another bumblebee. And then we've got a misty moonlight. Another calypso coral. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, crumb cake. Looks like pussy willows. And then this fun geometric. Um, design. Isn't that gorgeous paper? Hello, Mary. How are you? Thanks for hopping on. So that's the gorgeous paper. Okay. Uh, let me see. I've got the cork paper here. I'll show that to you real quick. This cork paper is pretty amazing. Look at that. It's super thin. It's, it's thin like any paper. And it's got... Um, it just, it's very soft, and you can see the texture. It's actual cork. Isn't that amazing? So that's fun to work with. We've got the embellishments, and they are called brushed metallic adhesive backed dots. Okay, and as you can see, I've been playing with them already. Okay. Diff couple different shades. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'm just going to have to apologize. Like I said, we've had fires in the area, and um, it's just made my, my voice kind of crackly, and uh, my allergies have been crazy because of the smoke. It's been really bad here. So, and my asthma has been acting up. So just, um, I'm apologizing in advance if my voice sounds kind of weird. <laughs> or I'm having to clear my throat a lot. Nature's Harvest. So we've got some beautiful sentiments here. Sending healing thoughts. May nature's beauty bring peace to your soul. Oops, there, there we are. A reminder to never forget how much you mean to me and so many others. I really like that one. Thank you and good luck. We've got cone flowers. We've got kind of a wild dandelion daisy. And then some, some texture there. Okay. And then the dies, I've been using the dies so they're not all put back nicely. Um, we've got a wheat, or this could be lavender, the cone flower, um, dandelions, I think. Then this image cuts out the cone flower stamps. We have uh, this image, and that cuts out the little dandelion image we've got two pieces for sentiments and then this piece here kind of a, a twiggy branch thing <laughs> a twiggy branch thing that's my definition all right so i think these dies are really cool i don't know about you guys when you buy dies can you ever get them back the way they were i i don't I don't know what it is about me. I, I really should take a picture of it and then put them back the way they're supposed to be so that they all fit. 
I can never get them all to fit exactly the way they're supposed to be. I don't know. I'm just, I'm die challenged. I'm not sure. Okay. Let's get started. Let's get started. So I've got four cards tonight. Linda, you can't do it either. I'm so glad it's not just me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I don't think I showed you guys the beautiful lace ribbon. I haven't used it yet. We're going to use it tonight. Let me take the little piece of plastic off. Okay. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Very pretty. I feel like we can do a lot with this. You trace around the die with a pencil. That's a brilliant idea. That's a brilliant idea. I don't know why I haven't thought of that before. Okay. First card is pretty simple. Um, I did pull some DSP from the... Oh, what's it called? It's from the annual catalog. Something Earth. Something Earth. Lovely. Uh, Beauty of the Earth. So this is Beauty of the Earth. I liked this wood grain, so I pulled that. Okay, it's got like a camo um, leaf tree print on the other side. We're going to use this side. Okay, and I have got Knight of Navy. I pulled a Knight of Navy card stock for this one. So they're saying it's um, Misty Moonlight. But Knight of Navy was looking really close to me, and so I pulled it for some of the, uh, for this card at least. All right, and then I trimmed a piece of this DSP, just a quarter of an inch smaller. It's got wheat and flowers in it, and we're going to add that on. All right, I'm just looking at your comments. All right, now I, <laughs> excuse me, I used my stitched rectangle dies. They are currently discontinued. I was in a hurry tonight, so Believe it or not, I designed all of these cards tonight when I got home from work. <laughs> I left my classroom um, <laughs> almost at four today, and I got home and I started just working up in the craft room. I told my husband, I said, I, I can't talk. I got to get ready for my class that I'm supposed to do at six o'clock. <laughs> There's just literally been no time for me to get things done having gone back to work. So needless to say, my weekends are going to be busy prepping for my, my online classes now. Okay, so there we go. I was just grabbing what I could get. So it is a retired die, but I think we have others that um, you could work with. Now, I cut out a circle and then I stamped the comb flowers. Now I'm going to stamp one right now with you and just show you how I colored it. Okay. I used stamping blends. I inked it up with my memento black ink. If you guys can hear squeaky teenager boys in the background, it's my son with a friend over. So I apologize. I told them I was going live. But you know how kiddos are. They, uh, they forget that they're supposed to be quiet. <laughs> All right. So we're going to press down on this. This is a clean stamp set. Cling, not clean. Cling, I-N-G. So you can put your stickers on. Just remember, they're very sticky. You don't want to leave these on your blocks for too long because it will be very hard to get off. What I end up doing is I take my U pick tool and I just get under the sticker and I kind of just help that to pull it up 
and then I can pull it off without ruining or ripping my stamp, okay? Just a little tip. All right, so there's our comb flower, and I am going to use some stamping blends. I pulled a few colors here. Let's see, I've got dark, so saffron, and I pulled dark pumpkin pie. I also have, I believe, my light pumpkin pie here. That's not what I want. Light pumpkin pie, okay? So we're gonna use those colors to get this. So first, I always like to start with light colors. <laughs> Deanna knows um, the word quiet doesn't really happen with teenage boys. You are correct, Deanna. Okay, so I am coloring with my brush end. Um, and I'm just doing the cone part first. Then I'm just going to go ahead and color my petals. Just nice strokes. I'm just trying to stay in the lines. But that's about it. I'm not doing anything artsy creatively here. I'm just coloring in the whole space. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this one. It's going to be the same for all of them, so I'm just going to use the same color since I've got it out, saving time instead of having to go back and forth, okay? All right, so I'm just trying to go a little bit slow so I stay in the lines here. All right. And then we'll do this one. This one's a little bit different. It's um, going a different direction, so we don't see the little cone middle there. We've got, I don't know if that's supposed to be green or yellow. I'll just do it yellow. It's like they're little tiny baby petals right there. Okay, now I'm going to go in with, let's go in with some dark. It's gonna be pretty, um, pretty dark. But I'm going to go in again with my lighter pumpkin pie and blend it, okay? So I'm just going to do a couple strokes. Just need a little bit of color there. Just a couple strokes. Now that looks pretty drastic, right? Because it's such a contrast. Don't worry about it. Because what we're going to do now is we're going to go in with the light pumpkin pie. Okay, and we're going to put some of that on there and kind of blend it in. I'm just going, oops, I went over out of the line. Oops. Um, we're just going to go over that dark, and it's mixing in with the So Saffron. I'm just kind of lightening it up a bit. Then I'm going to bring in my <clears throat> So Saffron again, and I'm just going to go like on the very edges of where that pumpkin pie was. Go back over it. I might have to grab a cough drop. My voice <clears throat> is not conditioned for teaching right now because I've been on summer break. I don't talk all day long. But when you're in a classroom teaching, you talk all day. And so my voice is, is having to get used to that again. <clears throat> then throw in smoke. Okay, so there's my, my blending, okay? You can see the light, the, the light and dark. I put those two words together. You liked that? The light and the dark blended together. And then I'm going to take some old olive. I've got the light and the dark. I'm going to do everything in light first.
And because those stems are smaller, I'm using the bullet end. I teach fifth grade right now. I have taught fifth grade. This will be my, I think my 16th year teaching sixth, uh, fifth grade. I've also taught third grade. I taught third grade for seven years. I've taught second grade. That I taught second grade for four years. And then I taught fourth grade for one year. So um, I think this is my 26th year of teaching in public school. Before I got my teaching credential, I was substitute teaching and going to college. I worked at a preschool and an after school daycare. So I've always worked with kids. Um, and even before that, I was teaching Sunday school. I started teaching Sunday school at our church at 13 years old. I knew I wanted to work with kids. So now I took my dark pen and I'm just going in over some of some spots, just like a little, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm doing the parts where I see a, more lines. I'm just doing a little, little spot of color. Okay. And then if you want, you can go back in and then just kind of blend it with the light so it's not so drastic. What is my favorite age to teach? Well, it's funny. When I taught second and third grade, I had been teaching primary school for 12 years. And when I got moved to intermediate, I was devastated. I loved teaching um, the little kids. But now that I've been an intermediate teacher for so long, I, I love it. So I'm really happy in fifth grade. What's funny is my favorite teacher that I had was a fifth grade teacher. He was my favorite teacher. So I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm really happy in fifth grade. Okay. There are my cone flowers. Aren't those pretty? So I'll end up cutting these out and using this on another card, but I wanted you to see how I did the coloring because I know some people are still learning how to use stamping blend pens. Okay. Now let's put this card together 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 all right move those pins out of my way I'm also gonna use I pulled some of my bumblebee trinkets I might use those on this card and then I've got my lace and I have my you pick tool I'm gonna need that and I need some dimensionals where oh, where did I put those here there's some little guys and here's some big guys okay and we need a sentiment so let's look at the sentiments because I don't know if it's going to fit let's see Peggy your husband taught high school math for 37 years Wow what a legacy that is wonderful my brother teaches high school uh, he teaches um, literature and I didn't put the sticker on this one so let me do that because it always makes it easier and I'll show you how to do that for those of you that um, don't do it so there's paper on here and we want to just peel the paper off carefully so that you can see the sticker okay I just throw that away and then you, it's like a puzzle okay so you're just going to you want this side to be where the sticker is and then the rubber side is up so we're going to just match the the shape we're going to put that right on top because once it's down it's not coming off okay I've learned that and there you go all right So I just take your time putting those stickers on because I have um, not always done it the best. 
and then when you try and use it, it kind of throws you off because you can't really see, see where it's supposed to be. Now I'm wondering if this is going to go all the way on here. I might have to, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put it on another scrap of paper and we will add that in because I don't, I don't um, think it's going to work, but that's okay. So I'm just using a scrap here and that's kind of crooked. Probably my bifocals. Let's do one more. Okay, that one looks a little better. Let me get my paper trimmer. And we're gonna trim that, and then we're gonna probably pull another piece of uh, DSP and put it behind it. Okay. If you guys don't have this paper trimmer, it is pretty awesome. I'm gonna show you a couple. Um, don't really wanna cut my stems, but oh well. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little bit about this paper trimmer when I'm doing the fun fold with you guys. Just points a few things out. All right, so I've got my sentiment and then let's get a scrap of DSP to put behind it. Let me look at my um, pieces that I've already cut into and let's just get a little, we could put some bumblebee with, bumblebee with it. We could do that since there's yellow there. I think that would work or I might try the other blue. Let's see. Or maybe both. Let's see. Let's just see. I'm just going to trim a little bit and use that and see what we come up with. All right. So I'm just eyeballing this. I'm not, I'm not measuring guys. I know that drives some of you crazy. Okay. And then I'm going to make this one thinner and go behind it kind of like maybe like a ribbon. Sometimes I use paper like a ribbon. It's just making it straight and using up those scraps. Okay, let's see what we can come up with here. <laughs> I felt like the white circle helps us see the flowers a little better. Yeah, I kind of like that. Just a little pop of color. I'm going to trim this. Just take my snips and just cut that off. <clears throat> okay, and let's glue this down. I'm thinking, do I want that up and then that on it, or this up and this up, or that flat and this up? I think I want both popped up. Okay. <clears throat> All right, throw those in the garbage. All right, now this guy, maybe we don't need to pop him up, I think. But we will put a dimensional here and here, okay? And then we'll just do some liquid glue on the rest of it. So we'll put one here because it hangs over and we'll put one here 
And then we'll pull a little liquid glue. And a little goes a long way. Did I take those guys off? I don't think I did. Okay. It looks like I need a little bit right here. Okay. Now, let's put this together. Oh, now my fingers are sticky. I hate sticky. the sentiment a reminder to never forget how much you mean to me and so many others I just love that so depending on where you want to put it we could cover we could just put it a little bit at the bottom it doesn't cover up much of our our um, flower I think that works we could have gone a little bit off and you know not made it so big you could have done that too but since I've already done this I'm just going to put it at the bottom maybe a little bit up like that so we see the wood at the bottom now notice <coughs> I have part of it on the circle and part of it not so I'm gonna put dimensionals on the bottom to lift it so that it's all the same so I'm just gonna turn it over and we're gonna put a couple here We'll use the small ones. <clears throat> okay, and then I'll just put some of my tape runner. Oh, did I do it wrong? No, I did it right. Okay. Phew. There we go. Now, I think we need a little bumblebee. I think we need a bumblebee. And did I pull my uh, glue dots? I always put these down with glue dots. Let's see. Okay. So. I'm just going to stick that onto my glue dot here. Pull it off. I'm just rolling a little bit of the glue dot that might be hanging over. And we'll put it right there. So stinking cute. I love those bumblebees. I need to like stock up on the bumblebees because they're so adorable. I love bumblebees. I actually collect honey pots. Did you guys know that? I collect honey pots. Now I don't know if I'm gonna get a bow in here because I feel like this one, the bow is going to interfere with my sentiment. So I'm gonna refrain a bow. Refrain from doing a bow, you guys. I'm holding back on the bows. What do you guys think? Isn't that cute? Isn't that just so pretty? I love it. It's very cheerful. Blue and yellow together, so pretty. All right, thank you for the love. Okay, I'm even thinking there is that texture stamp, but that's a really big like ink blot. and could have put some of that in the back of this but it's maybe a little bit um, 
thicker than I would want it to be. You could put a couple just polka dots in there. Um, or you could flick a pen and you could get some little speckles of ink in there. There's a lot of different things you could do. If you feel like it's too clean or crisp, it's up to you. But I think it's cute. All right, next card. Next. Okay, this one. We've got Soft Succulent. And then I cut Early Espresso. Then I cut the gorgeous Soft Succulent DSP that's got, it's got font in it. Can you guys see that? Okay. We're going to glue these layers. I love those bees. I love those bees. My kitchen, when I was first married, when we were newlyweds, we had blue and yellow in our kitchen with bees. I decorated with bees. Now, make sure that the font is not upside down. Um, now the kitchen in our, in our home that we live in now, when we were first married, we lived in a duplex. Now we, you know, we live in the house that we bought. Um, our kitchen and family room are all like one big room and it's blue and red with yellow. And, um, it's kind of like country farmhouse and and then I have my honey pots in the curio couldn't get rid of the honey pots okay now that wood grain DSP that I borrowed from another suite I took one of the dies and I cut that crazy um, dandelion out then I took some more DSP and I cut the wheat and then I stamped my cone flower and colored it. And we'll see, this might be too much. We might not want all of it. We'll see. We shall see. Actually, I'm going to put these behind the circle. Let's see what that looks like because then the stems won't interfere with my stamping. I can get my fingers to cooperate here. You'll know that I like the dandelions back there. Might be too much. I think I like it without the dandelions. Okay, and then I want to try and use some of this really pretty lace. So let me make a bow and we'll see if that's going to work. So what are your guys' plans for the weekend? I'm going to play in my craft room. I also need to do laundry so the kids have clean clothes for next week. <laughs> okay, so there's a pretty bow. And then, where did my embellishments go? We're going to put some of these on here. No sentiment on this one. I don't think. Let's see. I just feel like it kind of takes away from the beauty, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put a sentiment on there. Not gonna do it. Not this time.
Oops. There we go. Goodness gracious. Where's my new pick tool? Here we go. So Linda's cleaning house and getting ready for one of her classes that she's going to do. Nice. I know I need to finish getting ready for my class at the end of the month. Still not finished yet. Oops. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> it's been in the um, 90s. Here, I need to get out in my yard and take care of my poor vegetable garden, which is feeling probably very neglected. <clears throat> So I'm going to move this up a little bit higher and then our bow will come down here and, and cover up that these stems are shorter than these stems so nobody will know. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to use a glue dot. Isn't that lace just really really pretty I need to move I need to um, get my little eraser dude where's my little eraser guy cuz that's sticky right there I should have should have had my silicone mat out all right now let's decide what colors we want to do here this one do they tell you the colors on here <clears throat> no, I know it's in the catalog. This one always looks like it has a green tinge to it, to me. So we could go with the green. We could go with the copper because it kind of brings out the orange. Or the gold because of the gold DSP. Let's see what the bronze looks like. I was thinking of doing just three in a row right here. <clears throat> and then if we want, we can still put, hi Lori, how are you? If we want, we can still put a bumblebee on here. Let's see what that would look like. Might be too much. We could hide him in there. What do you guys think? Is the bumblebee too much? Oh, good for you, Deanna. What Bible study? Is it a book that you've started? You'll have to share if it's a good one that you're really excited about. Maybe we'll put the, I don't know. What do you guys think? The, you like the bumblebee or not? I like the bee, so I think I'm going to try it. Okay. He's hiding like... Uh, he's getting ready to pollinate those cone flowers for us. That's really pretty, don't you think? I like that. Okay. Next card... This one I actually cased from the catalog. <clears throat> so crumb cake. 
And then I made another layer and I use the embossing folder from the suite. Okay, I'm gonna hold this up so you guys can see it. Um, you can see the texture and then there's like font, like typing on there. All right. So I'm just gonna put that, and this is actually an eighth of an inch smaller. It looks like I need to trim it a little bit on the bottom. <clears throat> let's see yeah I need to go just an eighth smaller uh -oh. let's see if that works yep okay there we go so now we've got a little bit of texture and then <clears throat> goodness I took some stitched rectangle dies I took two of them <clears throat> I cut the big rectangle out and then I put a smaller one in it and cut this out so it makes a frame. Okay? And then with DSP, I cut out using those dies. So we've got the wheat, we've got the cone flower, and we've got the crazy dandelions. All right, now I'm going to look at the catalog. I'm going to look at the catalog picture. Ooh, I lost my, um, oh, now I remember. I just found a little piece that was for my first card. Okay, so see this card right here? This is the one I'm copying. All right. They did watercolor painting and then cut it out. I changed it up a little bit and I just cut it out on the DSP. Okay, so I, I took the basic idea and in the background, did they, yeah, they did. They used the embossing folder. Yep, so I just changed it. Instead of doing watercoloring, I just cut it out with the DSP. Okay, and then I'm not going to stamp and then cut the words out. I was thinking of possibly just doing a, um, one of the die cuts. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, and then I also want to add some of these guys in here. So we're going to do that. <clears throat> and I need to look at my sentiments to see what can we fit. We can make this a thank you card, a good luck card. This guy isn't going to fit, I don't think. I don't think it's going to fit. Let's see. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. It's going to be pretty, uh, pretty close. I could try it. We could see. All right. I'm just um, checking this. Okay. So let's see if that'll work. I'll, I'll take a chance and see if I can get that on that piece. We'll see. This one doesn't have the sticker on it. Not yet. All right. And which way does it go? The cursive part goes on the top. All right. I don't know. I got to take my glasses off so I can see. <laughs> Never thought I would say that. Got to take my glasses off so I can see. Oh, it's close, you guys. And it's kind of crooked, but what do you think? Can we make it work? 
I think we could make it work. All right, let's put this, let's put this guy together. I like this embossing folder. It's one that you can use like on any card. Now I'm just looking at it, making sure that I don't have letters that are upside down. I really would like to know what it's supposed to say. <laughs> it's like parts of a newspaper or something and then it's like they got blurred or something. It's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Now, you have options here. You could pop up your little frame and then pop up the flowers, which I think will make it look more interesting. That's what I'm going to do. You know I like my dimensionals. So I'll put one there, one there, one there, one there. And since these are longer pieces, we'll do that. Okay, we're going to take off all those little backings. Come on, come on. All right, let me empty those. Take that one off. Doesn't want to play nicely. There we go. And make sure that I put this right in the middle. Okay, guess that'll work. Then we're going to put our flowers on and We've got this guy. We've got the wheat. And then we've got the cone flower. Now, let's see if I can put these up on some dimensionals. It's going to be kind of interesting on that wheat piece. I don't know. Okay, after this card, it's my um, fun fold. I'm getting nervous because it was giving me some trouble today as I was trying to figure it out. I hope I don't mess it up, you guys. Ah. I think I might have to cut some of these guys so that they don't show. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to cut these. And then I've got a piece of it right here on my scissors, which doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. All right. And let's try, let's try another one. Oops. Oops another one right here got this guy we'll just put it on one of these okay okay 
This one's going to go on this side. Then we're going to put the wheat in the middle. I don't know how we're going to get that one popped up because those are so thin. I don't think it's going to fit. Maybe I'll just not do it. If it's laying, resting on the others, it's already kind of popped up. I'm not going to put glue on the wheat heads because I kind of like that they're not um, stuck down. I kind of like that they flip up. Does that make sense? Kind of looks like they're blowing in the wind. Like there's a breeze. All right, now we're going to put our sentiment on here. Okay, and then we'll put some of those fun embellishments in there. Come on. I got stickies on me. Okay, let's put, let's put one of these guys in here. And let's do another one down here. And then I'm going to do a smaller one, maybe right here. I don't know that I like it there. Let's put it this right here. Okay, what do you guys think? Do you like that one? Pretty? Okay. Last card. Last card is a fun fold. And let me get all my parts here, all the pieces. Okay. I'm trying to remember what this one's called. can't remember off the top of my head. So it's going to look like this. And then it's going to open up. And I'm going to show you how we're going to cut. <laughs> Everyone's excited about this one. I don't remember what I called this. Um, it's kind of popular right now with some of the demonstrators. And I can't remember what she called it. I took her idea and I thought, oh, I'm going to try that. But um, it took me a couple tries to get the cuts right. So hopefully I don't mess it up with you ladies tonight. Okay, so I cut the papers in advance, but I'm also going to cut one with you to show you how to do it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to push that to the side. I'm going to grab a piece of cardstock. Let me move this. And I'm going to need my paper trimmer, okay? So we're going to use that. And I even, oops, I even wrote down directions. So I won't forget how to do it. <laughs> okay. I think I'll grab another piece of early espresso because I'll use it on another card since I've got, ouch, since I've got all this stuff out. Okay, so cardstock is eight and a half by 11. So we're gonna cut on the eight and a half side, okay? 
okay? So if you want to take notes to do this card, grab a piece of paper so you can write this down, okay? All right, I am going to cut at five and a half. So that's our first cut, five and a half, okay? So this piece is going to be a scrap. You're, you can use this on another card. We're not going to use it for this card. So just set that aside. Okay, so now this is the piece that we're going to work with. Okay, now you're going to go on the 11 side and I'm going to pull this arm out. Did you guys know that that was there? So this just pops out and now you have more room. Okay, so when we're going to score, I'm going to move my blade up because I'm not going to use it right now. I'm going to score at three and three eighths. All right, here we go. So there's the three, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. So we're going to score at three and three eighths. Okay, did you get that? Three and three eighths. Then I'm going to move it down and I'm going to do another score at seven and five eighths. Here we go. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. So that's seven and five eighths. Okay. So that's going to be. the folds. It's like a wrap. It's like a wrap around fold, I guess. I don't know what you would call this. Okay. Now you're going to want a ruler for this next part. Okay. I tried it one way and that, that way kept making me make mistakes. So I found another way that worked easier for me and it was using a ruler. So here's my tip. You're going to use a ruler. You're going to use the inch side. You also need a little pencil or a pen that you can use to make a little tiny mark. Okay. Oops. So I had to reach for my pencil. Okay. So what we're going to do is um, we are going to measure down this side at one inch. Okay. I got to stand up to make sure I've got the, there we go. So I'm going to put a little dot here, one inch. Just a little pencil mark. Okay, got that one inch. Then I'm gonna measure down here. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm gonna measure down here at one inch going in. Okay. Excuse me. All right, now, this part right here where the blade goes is called the gutter. All right, what we're going to do is the score line is going to go in the gutter, but we're going to turn, we're going to turn so that it's in the gutter and my first little dot that I made. Does everyone understand that? So I've got my score in the gutter and my little dot in the gutter. Okay. And we're going to cut that triangle off. Okay. Now this dot is going to go in the, the gutter and then my bottom dot that I made is going to go in the gutter. And then we're going to cut that off. Okay, there's your, your wrap. Now we're going to do the same thing on this side. All right, so I get my ruler and I'm going to go down one inch, one inch, and then I'm going to go <clears throat> in one inch. 
All right, got my two dots. Let's do the same thing on this side. So score line in the gutter, score corner, I guess you would call it. We're gonna move till I get my dot in the gutter. Okay, the corner and the dot. Cut it off. All right, now we take that point and we match it with this dot. They both are in the gutter and we cut that off. <clears throat> There's your card base. Okay, I dented it a little bit. There you go. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to do the DSP. The DSP. So let me find some DSP that I like to go with this. I'll pick a different pattern since, um, and then I can make another card later with it. Let's see, what do I like? I could do that crumb cake. <clears throat> and then we want something that's gonna pop. Let's use some of that blue that I cut. Yeah, let's use some of this blue. That'll be pretty. <clears throat> okay. Oops, they just fell on the floor. That's okay. Okay. These are going to be cut at three and one fourth. So three and one fourth. Okay. All right, I'm going to save that for another card. So three and one fourth, and then we're going to move it long ways, and it's going to be five and one fourth. Okay, we'll save this for another card. So here's our two pieces that we're going to use for our flaps, okay? <clears throat> now, um, I'm trying to remember... So if you want, like I had already prepped, I did so that you have one of each color showing, right? You're going to lay, um, oh, I picked different ones. Okay. Um, hopefully this will work. The last one I did it, it was the same paper front and back. Okay. So hopefully I won't mess this up. So we're gonna lay them on top of each other. I'm gonna cut them at the same time. <clears throat> now I need my ruler again, okay? So we're gonna go down an inch, just like I did before. Okay, down an inch, and in an inch. Hopefully I don't mess this up. Okay, so now let me think about this. I heard my, so I wanna say it was the, the end to my dot. Make sure that's right. Okay. I hope I'm not making a mistake. And then take this corner to the dot. We'll see if that works. <clears throat> okay. Well, I guess I cut it the wrong direction. So we have to do coral on one side again and Ew. No, this side. Crumb cake. Okay. So there's that one. So I made a boo-boo. I wanted the blue side. So I'm trying to think. I had it cut this way. So what I should have done is flipped it the other way when I was cutting. So make a note of that, okay? And you can rewatch the video too. All right, so there's your flaps. All right, now let's put my card. I'm going to say this. I'll make another card with it. I've got this one all ready to go. 
let's get this done. Okay. You guys have a good name for this card. What is this card called? I'm going to have to go back and look. All right. So I am just burnishing those score lines and we're going to glue this on. <clears throat> Double hinge fold. I don't know what it's going to be called. I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out. All right, so I think that would help if I open it and then I can see we want a little bit of border all the way around. Okay. And then we're gonna do this side. Isn't that cute? So stinking cute. It's a flap card. Yeah. But it needs something like something more than just saying flap card. I don't know. We're going to have to figure this out. Okay. We're going to do our cone flowers here. And I have, I don't think a sentiment's going to work on this because we want it to open up. But what else was, oh, I was going to put my embellishments on here. And then we're going to do a little stamping on the inside, okay? So, <clears throat> and also, where'd my other piece go? Here's a little, I did another one. Okay, so we can put that on there. <clears throat> Something flap card. You guys have to help me name this card. We're going to have to come up with a good name for it. It's not my design. I did see another demonstrator do this, so I can't take credit for it. Um, and I can't remember what she called it. I'll have to go back and look. Now this one, because I'm going to overlap, I'm not popping it all on dimensionals. I'm only popping the parts that aren't going to be overlapping. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's already 8 o'clock. I'm like, why am I so tired? <laughs> oh. Is it bad? Like, is it bad when I'm ready to go to bed and it's like eight o'clock? <laughs> All right, we can do. Should we do the gold on the coral? Or I don't know what this color is. I am the middle one. I don't think is going to show as well. Let's do. Let's do the gold. I'm just going to do. I think three in a row. Ah! It's on my shirt. Okay. And then, let's see. Should we put a bumblebee on here? Where'd he go? <clears throat> Oh yeah, I think we need a bumblebee. So stinking cute. Adorbs. 
Okay. Pop that cutie pie on a glue dot. I'm just moving the glue dot so it doesn't show. And then we'll put it on. These are so adorable, you guys. So adorable. All right. Now we're going to open it up. <clears throat> and I cut my insert. Now this will fit into an envelope, okay? So a regular standard envelope will work. And then we're going to do a little stamping on the inside. We need our sentiment and then we'll do an, an image. So <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys, I have to keep clearing my throat. All right, ink that up. I thought you guys would like this card, but I was so nervous I was going to make a mistake. All right. Okay, and then do we want another coneflower on the inside or do we want crazy dandelions? What do you guys want? Do you want another coneflower here? Or do you want dandelions? It's up to you. I think cone flowers are prettier. Let's see. Now it's not all gonna fit. I'm not gonna put the whole thing on. Okay, that pretty. You can color it or not. It's up to you. I think I'll probably color it. Okay. Now, you guys remember the colors I used? I used the dark, so saffron. And then I use pumpkin pie, dark and light. And I did a little blending and then my stems were old olive. I need a little uh, bee stamp. We need to have a little bee f um, buzzing inside the car too. I'm cracking up because I hear one of the boys singing downstairs. It's funny. I don't know what they're doing. All right. <clears throat> it is a fun card, isn't it? I was so scared, you guys. <laughs> I'm like, what if I mess up while I'm live? Ah. Okay, just a couple lines of the dark, and then I'm gonna go in with the light pumpkin pie and kind of um, do some blending. One thing I've learned when I'm using um, blends is I don't always use the light and dark pairs. I sometimes will pull a light and dark from another pair and mix and match. It, it just, you kind of learn how to play with the colors to get what you want. Now I'm just going back in here with some more yellow here. So saffron. Kind of, um, lightening it up a bit. <clears throat> okay. And then 
our stems. I actually think there is a bee stamp now that I'm thinking about it. It's um in the annual catalog with the dandelion stamp set. There's a little bee, I think. Might have to go pull that out and stamp a little bee in here. Then I'm gonna just put a little bit of dark here and there. Okay, there we go. I think I know exactly who I'm gonna send this card to. And then we'll put it inside. Do, do, do. All right, there we go, gorgeous card. I love it. I think I have to burnish it a little bit more though. <laughs> you might want to wrap a ribbon around it and like do a bow to hold it down. You could do that. <laughs> Linda's like, darn it. Now I have to go buy this set too. Doggone it. Jennifer did it again. I love the uh, cone flower. I think it's beautiful. I really like this paper too. All right. I might stamp another one of these and add that on here because I feel like it needs a little more something. A little more something. All right. So I'm thinking that your favorite tonight is probably the fun fold. Am I right? I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, those are the four cards. I hope you had fun tonight. I hope you've been inspired. And thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending your Friday nights with me, ladies. I hope that you've had fun and I hope that you got some great ideas. Hopefully you get some crafting time in this weekend that you get to do a little bit of um, stamping hopefully sometime this weekend. That would be fun. Have you guys been working on Christmas cards yet? Are you getting your Christmas cards made? Got to do a little bit here and there so you'll have them ready. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, if you need to place an order, if there's anything that you would like to purchase, use this host code right now. You can order from my website, jennifersinceri.stampinup.net. And I will see you next week. I have no idea what I'm going to play with yet. We'll see what uh, tickles my funny bone. We'll see. I'll probably figure it out tomorrow. All right. Good night, everyone. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Love you guys. Bye-bye.